Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Tyrese Halliburton has been sensational. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Greg, in terms of the Pacers' last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court, particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've improved in that regard. The backcourt pair for them, Halliburton and Brown. Cool Hands is out there with Buddy Heal, and it's McGee in at the five spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now, here is Halliburton. And a deep three from Heal. The long distance three is buried. Heald's got 11 points. Well, Buddy Heald saves the day. Had to put it up in a hurry. Great concentration. Avdia with a screen for Poole. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. And there's the pass to Brown. Here's Cole. Halliburton outside. A three ball. A three-pointer is right on target. Halliburton's got 22. Halliburton, a huge part of this offense, which is why he has the confidence in these catch-and-shoot situations. No hesitation. Now, here's Poole. He's got 12. With the tip, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Halliburton against Jones. Halliburton passes to McGee. Back to Halliburton. Brown outside. That's good. It's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. And so Poole will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. They trail by 18. Gafford is screen on Brown. Poole the pass to Gafford. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Avdia the pass to Jones. Now here's Gafford. Wizards passing it around. Gafford is screen on Brown. Just three to shoot. Connects from three-point range. 15 points in the game. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Brown outside. Kicks to heel. Back to Brown. McGee is screen on pool. A floater. And the rejection by Gafford. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And a wide open look for Halliburton. Again, Indiana. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Abdiya. They get it back. Gafford. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Pacers leading by 17. Heel kicks to Halliburton to the right side. And Indiana, another three. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Jones against Halliburton. Poole with no one around. From outside, off the mark. And it's the Pacers' ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Halliburton outside. McGee sets the pick for Halliburton. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Halliburton's got seven points here in this quarter. 
I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. You know, my guess right now is Coach wants to talk over this turnover issue. And it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. for Tyrese Halliburton. He's coming off an excellent season. He averaged about 20 points a game, 10 assists, and 3 rebounds. And what an impact he makes for them on that offensive end. Right. He can do a little bit of everything for this team, and it shows when you look at the scoreboard. Brown against Poole. Offered a screen on Brown. And they get it. And he sinks the layup. Gafford's got his second bucket. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. And usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage tourists, Daniel Gafford. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding. Now Jones, following the three-point attempt by Tyrese Halliburton. Jones kicks to Avdia. Six on the shot clock. With a floater, and Poole gets it to go. Poole's got five points now in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. In the corner, it's healed. Oh, good on the triple. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Barrett, wide open, he fires. Cans it from downtown. Barrett's got 14 points. Boy, you've got to be shot ready in catch and shoot situations, and we know RJ's got a quick trigger. Heel kicks to Halliburton. Back to Heel. Let's it go with a three. Washington with the rebound. Gafford's got nine rebounds now tonight. Avdia, the pass to Jones. And here is Gafford. Over in the corner, Poole. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Defensive positioning so important, and he could not have played him better there. Halliburton with it. He's got 26. On the wing, heel. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. 14 points for him. Any opportunity from three is what Buddy Heald is looking for. Great delivery there. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now Jordan Poole has more freedom to create than ever before. Jordan he said there's a small group of people who get that chance. You have to make the most of your opportunity and put yourself in position to be successful. I never want any moment to be too big. Kevin, the ball is in his court now. Yeah, just the way he wants it. All right, D.A., thanks so much. That one falls. 15 points for Cool Hands. Well, this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Passes it to Barrett. And there's the foul. It goes on Cool Hands. That is his first foul of the game. And with the new CBA, Greg, free agent conversations can start basically the day the NBA Finals conclude. Do you like that move? I, I think it's good to have rules that teams will actually follow. In the past, it was July 1st, and let's be honest, teams were talking to players well before that. Now, here's Avdia. Pass to Kuzma. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds in this game. The pass to Cole. Now McGee. Oh, 
And he drops in the way up off the glass. And the Pacers lead by 19. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now, here's Barrett. 14 points for him. Over Matherin. Barrett, no good. And Matherin has got the ball here for Indiana. Pass to McGee. And stolen by Kuzma. In it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for him this game. Kyle Kuzma doing work in the painted area. That's beautiful. Matherin against Barrett. McGee is screen on Jones. And the slam dunk by McGee. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Passes it to Gaffer. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Indiana. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. And that one falls for Gafford. Pacers leading by 16. Now Matherin. Basket good. Matherin's got his second bucket tonight. Boy, Matherin needs to become more efficient, but that floater right there is on point. Pass to Gafford. He kicks to Barrett. Buries it down low. 16 points for R.J. Barrett. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. The pass to Heal from past the arc. Rebound by the Wizards. It's Jones on the wing. Pass to Barrett. Gafford is screen on Matherin. Back to Gafford. Toppin pulls it in. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. Brown. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Jones, the pass to Gafford. Gafford sets the pick for Kuzma. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Here's Cole. 15 points in the game. Outside, Jones. Pass to Gaffer. Kuzma against Brown. Kuzma left side. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. Some changes for Indiana. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for cool hands. Neesmith comes in for Buddy Heal. Halliburton subbed in for Bruce Brown. And then for Washington, Muscala, he's checked in for Avdia. Poole comes in for R.J. Barrett. And it's DeLon right in for Jones. That one misses for Kuzma. What I love about Kyle Kuzma is this guy understands there's more to the game than just scoring. That's a change from his rookie season. Now he wants to contribute defensively, and he gets on the glass, guys. Here's Matherin tapping a screen on Poole. Here's Matherin, and he converts the layup. Matherin's got six. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. 
It's right on the wing. He's covered by Halliburton. Kuzma can't get it to go. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Right against Halliburton. Goes up on the wing, and that one, good. Halliburton's got nine points here in the second half. That's the IQ of Tyrese Halliburton in pick-and-roll action. Always understands how to get the defender to bite. Here's Kuzma, and Kuzma slams it in. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Now, here is Halliburton. Tapping a screen on right. A three. And it's in! Wow, he nails the buzzer, Peter! And just when it looked like the third quarter was over, that happens that they pin three more onto the lead at the last possible second. And so it's the Indiana Pacers taking a 19-point lead into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And don't go away. We'll be right back. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Pacers leading by 19, so on the four for Washington. Andrew Shamit is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then it's DeLon Wright. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Muscala in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Right inside. He's covered by Halliburton. And it's Wright missing. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Pass to Matherin. Here's Smith. He's covered by Shannon. Smith with the basket on the assist from Matherin. And the Pacers lead by 21. Boy, that's a high percentage look by Jalen Smith. Exactly what you want your big man to create. Kuzma with it. And it's Toppin picking him up. Halliburton against Wright. Halliburton passes to Matherin. And GA start next season. Some big repeat penalties for teams well over the cap. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four-year span, their first round draft pick falls to the end of the first round. That was stink. He got loose from downtown the first half. Now has three here in the second. Unstoppable. Now the pass to Halliburton. Going inside. Plays it up and banks it in. Halliburton has got 11 points here in just the second half. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Right, the pass to Kuzma. Muscala with the ball. This one for three, and again, Washington with the triple. Yeah, Kyle Kuzma, we think of him as a scorer, but that was a tough target to miss. Wide open. Halliburton against Wright. Matherin with a screen on Wright. Halliburton for three. Rebound by the Wizards. Muscala's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Kuzma. Again, the Wizards score. Well, increasingly confident from the mid-range is Kyle Kuzma. Pass to Matherin. 
Smith sets the pick for Matherin. Down low. And Smith with the stuff. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim unabated in stride. Matherin against Poole. And it's in there. Poole's got five points in the quarter. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynn. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Now, here's Halliburton. Knocked away and stolen by Wright. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Muscala finds Kuzma. Shot clock at six. Puts up a deep three. And it's Matherin with the rebound. And Matherin has got the ball here for the Pacers. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Halliburton is double. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Boy, you see the quick, twitchy athleticism of Benedict Matherin. Woo-hoo-hoo! Right, the pass to Moscow. Right outside. Good on the triple. Wright's got himself on the board with three there. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Halliburton passes to Matherin. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And here is Schempt. Puts up a three. Rebound by Smith. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Matherin passes to Halliburton. Back to Matherin. Smith sets the pick for Matherin. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. We've seen some promising growth from Jalen Smith, haven't we, Doris? He's asserting himself more, and it shows. He is, Kevin, and we're talking about a six foot ten guy, lean frame, has some shooting ability. It's a matter of this guy keeping that aggression and keeping that focus. There's still a long way to go, but you love that he's starting to carve a little niche in this league. He misses the free throw. Now, so far, Jalen Smith has proven to be a quality role player. This guy works his tail off both ends. And some changes here for the Pacers. Cool hands checked in for Choppin. Heald comes in for Neesmith. And it's Brown in for Benedict Matherin. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Muscala. Avdia comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Third checked in for Landry Shamit. And Tyus Jones subbed in for DeLon Wright. And here's Poole for three. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got four rebounds now tonight. Upside Halliburton. Brown with a screen on Jones. Brown outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Brown's got 20. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Pool against Brown. The tray. And that's good. Jordan Pool for three. Poole's got 16 points here in the second half. And what's got into him today? Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. Smith outside. Passes to Cole. Washington with the rebound. Jones has got rebound number five here tonight. At the top of the key, Gafford. 
And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That'll be his second foul of the game. McGee, he's checked in for the Pacers. So it's the Wizards now. It's an 18-point game. Barrett kicks to Poole. McGee on the double team. Five to shoot. And Gafford throws it down. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Heel left side. Halliburton is double. Here's Coles. Off target with his three. Wizards trail by 16. Avia dishes to Jones. McGee on the double team. Halliburton against Jones. Avdia with a screen for Jones. Pass to Poole from downtown. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his fifth assist in this one. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Jones. The Pacers making the shot. The dish to Barrett. Poole on the wing. Shoot from the right block. Again, the Wizards score. And I tell you what, they're doing their best to cut down the lead with some smart offense here in the second half. Shot selection much improved since the break. Now here's Heald. Another possession, another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammate. The kick out to Poole. Good, another from three. He's got this defense scrambling, and even when they've got two guys on him, he just finds a way to create space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. Here's Coles. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. To the inside. Here's Avdia. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. There's the pass to Cole. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Halliburton is double. And the slam dunk by McGee. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but... Also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Now, here's Poole. Pass to Barrett. Poole a screen on heel. And it's Barrett penetrating. A key with the block. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Halliburton against Jones. McGee, the pass to heel. Halliburton is double. And another assist for him. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Gafford sets the pick for Barrett. From the top of the key. Second shot opportunity. Eyes yet again, and it's Gafford laying it in. Gafford's got four points in the quarter. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Now here's Brown. A second chance effort, and the layup good by McGee. McGee's got ten points here in the second half relentless in their approach even with the game firmly in hand this is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score this team is doing a great job continuing to execute Avdia from deep 
And again, Washington with the triple. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Now here's Heald. Greg, a lot more awareness in the league about the importance of mental health. Why is that so necessary? I mean, Kevin, the level of stress now has really grown. These players are under this huge microscope that now often extends to their families. And this is such a highly competitive environment. It is far more than just a game. Abdiya can't hit. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just give themselves a little bit of a break. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Pacers. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint, and those are all high percentage shots, but the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big time outing for Tyrese Halliburton. Boy. And again, another assist. And what's amazing, he's nearing the franchise record for most assists in a single game. This team feeds off his unselfishness and his commitment to keeping everyone else involved. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olmers, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Tyrese Halliburton.